voice sounds a little gravelly, and I'll explain in a minute. But two years ago, I set out on a quest to find my, my niche, find my trademark in this sport. And I thought, why not a dog collar match? I mean, some of my favorites when I was growing up were the dog collar. My first attempt, I was really exceptional. I beat one of the brightest younger prospects that West Virginia had to offer in Dwayne Tenney. We both left for in West Virginia, bloodied and battered. Well, then you know, the next year, different place, different attitude. I decided to step my game up a notch, and I, I made two challenges. One was in Marlington, West Virginia, against a longtime hero of mine growing up in Mad Dog David Lynch. I put him through a table. I beat him. Used barbed wire bats. And I still came out as the loser. So then I set my sights on the AWA shooting star, the AWA APAC shooting star title that was held by the Mighty Hojo. Halloween night, I'll never forget it. After the match was over, there was more iron in the water than there was in our blood. I, I single-handedly got defeated. Props to Mr. Hojo there. But I got to thinking this year I really need to right some wrongs. So I've devised it. You know, the reason my voice is gravelly because you can see these trees around through here. I've been tying myself to them like a rabbit junkyard dog, chewing on tires and eating gunpowder just trying to get meaner because this year October 22nd Next Dimension Wrestling Alliance has given me the chance for redemption finally redemption I've been told I got two opponents this year it's fine with me boys because I looked in the dictionary when I was bored the other day you know I seen sacrifice I seen salvation hell I even seen suffering all those came before survival that's what you need to realize with me. I'm willing to put everything on the line. Come Alderson, West Virginia. I hope that the first day Red Cross, whoever, Blood Bank can show up with sponges to sort out our donations we're going to leave all over this very ring. Because I can tell you right now, I don't know your two blood types. I can barely tell you mine. But I know after the night's said and done, our blood type's going to be lost and spilled all over the place. Desert Demon, I've never really had a chance to one-on-one -on -one meet with you, and I'm not even going to get this chance, but apparently the Urban Sheik, who you do your recreational terrorism with, has made a certain bid for you to be in this match with me. Why? I do not understand. Because to me, you're a mass pissant, and I'm the rabid dog. I'm the German Shepherd. I will tear you apart and piss on the remains. I have no problem strapping this right here to my neck. I've never had a problem strapping a dog collar to my neck. Boy, I was raised with more hungry animals than you ever know. I had to fight and scratch my way just for daddy's attention. You know what? I have something special for you, Desi. It's the same collar, but ten foot away from me. I hope your mask isn't JC proof, because I'm going to tear you open, split you apart, and spill all your little allegiance, Iraqi blood, all over the place. Then there's another guy that decided he wanted to throw his name into the hat, of the Dark Horse Matt Barnett. Now Dark Horse, I know you've ugly. I left the promotion you were coming into. You set goals. You went past my standards. You won belts that I didn't even get a chance to even look at. But, you didn't win my respect. You know, I have suplex sadist on me. Not as a moniker for funniness, but as a moniker that I live by every single day. So I have something special for you, Dark Horse, because I got to thinking about it when I was roaming around the pet store the other day. By the way, this is a 20-foot chain. We're going to be 10 by 10 by 10. So Dark Horse, be glad I'm putting you 20 foot away from me. But, I have to think it's Dark Horse. 
I don't see nothing dark about you, brother. It, it, there's nothing. I mean, you're about as plain as banana pudding and about as flashy as Justin Bieber in my book. So I decided I'm going to make you my pretty little pony and put you in this nice little pink necklace. Sad thing is, after the match, this will probably be stained red and the dark horse will probably just end up being dog food and hot glue for somebody's guitars and other woodworks. You don't realize what this match means to me. I don't care anymore. I have did everything I possibly could in this sport in the lowest amount of time. I have awards, I have titles, recognition from all over, legends alike. I'm not crazy because of insanity. I'm crazy by choice. I will do anything. I mean, I've even threatened to go back in time with a coat hanger if I had people's mother's addresses and make sure they were never brought into this world. Brought to you by JCD Abortion. All I've got to say in closing, boys, I hope you're ready for 20 foot of pain because it's going to be 20 foot of pleasure for me as I hang each one of you over these ropes. I just hope that my ears, if not bleeding from pain, can hear your screams of agony. It just is music to my ears. October 22nd, Alderson Community Center, Alderson, West Virginia, 7 p.m. bell time. Next Dimension Wrestling Alliance is bringing to you our free admission Halloween show. Eight big matches. A first time ever Triple Hounds of Hell triple dog collar match anything goes no disqualification we might even put a dog collar on the referee you don't know but one thing is for certain and that is this it's hardcore and it's hell bound and you just bought a first class one way ticket straight to your demise boys morally I am wrong truthfully